Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through how we can create an object using create method and how to override factory with respect to Python version of UV. In my one video, I already explained how to do a factory overriding, what is factory, and what, is, what are the types of factory overriding with respect to system by log version of UV. So I'll put a link of that video in the description. So I request you to first go through that video and then proceed for this video. So you get the idea clearly. Now here first we'll try to understand what is create method, how to create a, an object or a locator memory using create method with respect to Python version of UV. So this is a test class. Okay. Uh, before moving to this, let me just uh, show you how the things are there in system very log version of UV. Okay. So if you see that video, in that you will find this information. So what is factory? Uh, the factory is a class that the manufacture or create UVM objects and component using runtime. And it has an ability to override the data types. And what is factory overriding? So it's a mechanism of overriding or changing the data types so that our test bench architecture or component will work with a new kind of transaction. And there are two types on types of over and overriding with respect to system by log version of UV. First one is global overriding. So this global overriding for the entire test bench architecture. And another one is an instance overriding. So this is for a specific instance or a particular component, for example, an agent. So that the overriding will be there for that particular agent. And the, uh, this, uh, these are the syntaxes for the global overriding and instance overriding. So for global overriding, which is for the entire test bench architecture, factory dot set type or write by type. And in the parenthesis, we have to provide the original type, original class, colon, colon, get type, and substitute type colon colon get type. Okay. Similarly, for instance overriding, which is for a specific instance or a particular component like an agent as I told you. For that, the syntax is like factory dot set instance override by type. INS, INS, INST, okay. instance override by type. In the parenthesis, we have to provide a path and then original type followed by scope resolution operator get type and substitute type colon colon get type. So these are the two overridings are there with respect to system by log version of UV. Now I'll show you how the syntaxes are there uh, with respect to Python version of UV. And we'll try to take an example of an overriding. So here just first we'll uh, see how to create a component okay? uh, using uh, how to allocate a memory using create method in Python UV. So first, we have to import PyUVM and from PyUVM import star, okay, which is equivalent to import UVM package colon colon star in system by log version. And this is a sample component class, okay. So the class sample component in the parenthesis UVM component. Remember, in case of system by log version of UVM, we used to use, uh, we have to use extend keyword and we have to extend it from UVM component and we have to use the factory registration macro if we are using component then tick uvm component it is and if we are if, if we are using an object class then for that we have to use tick uvm object details but here in pi uvm uh, there is no need to use that uh, factory registration macro because if you see the literature you'll find that in pi uvm all classes that are extended from uvm void are all registered with the factory so there is no need to use that tick UVM component details and tick UVM object details here. So here just simply uh, run phase. In the run phase, we are raising an objection self dot raise objection and self dot prop objection. And just we are printing the info message like this is a sample component class. So this info is similar to tick UVM info. Okay. Here self dot logger dot info we have to use. And just we are printing a message. This is a sample component class. So in the top test class, we, we are defining a class sample test within parenthesis UVM test. And here we are defining a build phase. So it will in the build phase we are 
creating a component using factory create so self dot h1 is equal to sample component this sample component is for this class sample component okay class name dot create this dot create method we are using for creating a object and allocating a map object okay in parenthesis s1 comma self we have to provide and if you see if you compare this with the system very log version of uvm you will find in in case of system very log version of uvm we we are using h1 is equal to sample component okay any name you can give h1 or any any name okay sample component is a class name colon colon type id colon colon create we are using so there is no need in python uvm no need to use type id here just create dot create is enough and another way of creating an object and allocating memory is using h1 is equal to new within parenthesis h1 this is a system very log purely system very log based construct okay for allocating a memory similarly in pyuvm if we are using self h1 is equal to class name and within parenthesis h1 comma self which is equivalent to this new construct but the problem i i i told you in that video that uh, if we are using new construct then factory overriding will not happen here also we'll try to uh, do the same thing we'll try to create an object and allocate a memory using create method and with this simple method which is equivalent to new and we'll try to see whether factory overriding is possible or not here okay so here just we are creating an object for this uh, for this sample component h1 and we'll see uh, whether it is creating a an object h1 and printing a message this is a sample component class okay. so let me just run this code here i'm just giving a make command and it is running right so you can see here uvm test underscore top dot h1 okay. this is a sample component class okay. so this is a some sample component class we'll find the info message okay and this is an h1 we are creating okay. so you can see h1 uvm test top h1 okay now just let me comment out this code and then we'll see the overriding factory overriding thing okay so this is the second example in which i just walk you through the factory overriding Kind of so we already saw the factory overriding with respect to system very log version of uv and here in this python version of uv we can also overwrite the types using this uvm factory singleton object okay and here uh, there are four uh, ways for doing that as in case of system very log version there are two types right set type override by type and set instance overriding by type for a specific component and for the entire test bench architecture here also set type override by types is there and set type override by a uh, set instance override by type is there okay we'll see and another two are there set override override, override by name and set instance override by name so we'll see these two in the later video so how that overriding is there uh, let me show you the example for that let me uncomment this and just i'll show you that thing so first we have to import the pi uvm and from pi uvm import to start we have to use these two things uh, this is the sample component one class okay so class sample component one within parenthesis uvm component and in the run phase raising an objection and drop in on objection just printing a message using info that this is a sample component one class okay. and in the some sample two sample component two class just you know class sample component two within parenthesis uvm component and in the run phase of that self dot raise objection and self dot drop objection and we are printing a message this is a sample component two class in the test class we are what we are doing in the sample test one which is in the parenthesis uvm test in the build phase we are creating 
a component for the sample component one class okay for this class which is printing a message this is a sample component one class okay here using create method okay and we'll see whether defective writing is happening with this create method or not and in the another test class okay sample test 2 which is in the parenthesis uvm test 1 okay so we, we are using this uvm test sample test 1 here in the parenthesis okay. so, so class sample test 2 in parenthesis sample test 1 okay. and in the build phase of that we are saying uvm factory dot set type override by type okay and we are overriding this sample component 1 with sample component 2 and just printing a message, a message after factory overriding and we are calling a build phase just okay so what we are expecting here this will you know print a message from the sample component class 2 okay and in which it is declared in info that this is the sample class 2 after overriding so what we are doing here we are just overriding this sample component 1 with sample component 2 okay and this is the syntax for that and we are just calling a build build phase okay. so now let me show you the code the result for this okay. if you just give make over here we'll find the output So as you can see over here, it is printing a message. This is a sample class one, okay, which is from this component class one. Okay, and after overriding, we, we are overriding the sample class one with sample class two. Okay, and we are printing a message after factory overriding. So we, we, we are expecting it should print a message from sample class two, and which is uh, this is a sample class sample component true class so, and you can see you can observe the in, in within info you'll find uvm test top dot h1 and here also see uvm test top h1 okay after writing it is printing this is a sample component class 2 now let me show you if we are using that uh, if we are removing this if we are just commenting this create method and if we are using this this method self uh, dot h1 is equal to class name and within parenthesis h1 comma self so with this uh, we are able to do the factory writing or not which is equivalent to this new construct in system variable okay so if we just uncomment that and if you run the code you will find that the overriding is not happening okay so here you can see in code, uvm dot uh, uvm test top dot h1 this is a sample component class okay. here also after overriding, even even though we are overriding the class, then also UVM test top dot h1. This is a sample component one class. So using this construct, if you, if you are not using create construct, create method for creating an object and allocating a memory, then factory overriding is not happening here also, which already we we already saw in case of system variable version of UVM also. So for overriding, we have to use this create method for creating an object and allocating them. And let me show you the make file for this. It is also very simple. Just we have to mention which uh, tool we are using and then the top level language is very long. Right now we are not uh, dealing with the uh, DOT, just a, uh, you know, a, a just idle DOT I have uh, wrote over there and I'm not doing anything in that, just I'm, mapping that thing here okay and then the top level name is simple dot and this is the test bench name okay the test name here this test bench dot pi okay we have to mention and we if we want to mention a time unit time time present we can mention something like this and we have to include this coco tv config and this thing. so this include coco tv smic rule to make to uh, to take care of the simulator setup and uh, so this is what all about the factory is create method and how to do the overriding with respect to python version of uv so with this i hope you have understood the concept of factory 
factories create method and factory overriding with respect to Python version of Unit. So I hope you enjoyed this video.